Imagine you would start showing up drunk to work or your studies, like absolutely hammered. What kind of effect would that have on your work? I mean, you would start failing your classes, your work, or even be a danger on the road. It would be absolutely insane to do that. Like you wouldn't want to work with someone who does that. And yet we do. Well, hopefully you're not drunk, but you might be something else with the same effects, sleep deprived. And actually, coincidentally, I'm not too proud to say I'm a little bit sleep deprived while recording this as well. And going by the statistics, you are probably too, because while most people like 98% of people need around eight hours of sleep, we get less than seven on average. And there's many causes to that. I mean, maintaining a rhythm is hard, but what I want to chat about today is one specific cause that leads to about half of these cases, which is sleep apnea. When you have sleep apnea, your sleep is interrupted anywhere from five to 100 times an hour because you briefly stop breathing. So this can be snoring, but it also can be something that you can't detect that easily. And of the 15% of people seriously sleep deprived, like at the point where they start to be a risk to others, half of them are because of sleep apnea, like I said. So, you know, the current solutions to this require really elaborate face masks or measuring equipment so that you fix your sleeping position lying on your side to prevent it, um, which can actually fix it almost entirely. Um, but just imagine having to put on all of that equipment every night. Like for me, at least that alone would again impair my sleep. So this is why we're working with the sleep company who saw exactly this issue and they were looking for a non-invasive way to measure and correct sleeping positions to prevent sleep apnea. And what they came up with is quite simple, but brilliant. It's a pressure sensing mat that you can insert into, you know, any bed and to detect the sleeping position and give vibrational feedback uh, through, for example, a Fitbit um, so that the sleeper can fix their sleeping position and lie on their side. So at first, of course, you would wake up from this feedback, but the brain learns quickly. I mean, it's an amazing device. And after not too long, you would switch to your side subconsciously. So, but for this pressure sensitive mat to work with everyone, it has to uh, have a de detection algorithm that can de tell the difference between side and back sleeping for many different people, many different beds, of course. So this is not something that can be hard coded. And this is where the AI comes in. And this is also where we come in as Fruit Punch AI is the AI for good community, um, because we crowdsource AI solutions to places where resources are scarce, like this impact startup. So in this challenge, we're getting together 15 AI for good engineers from all around the globe, like usual. And we will go from sleep research data provided by the sleep company to a fully implemented system within 10 weeks. So that's pretty fast. And all the results of this challenge are open source to other passionate AI for good engineers so they can learn about, you know, how we did this and also so everyone can benefit from the results. And by joining a challenge like this, you can do a real world experiments experience in implementing AI and also connect with other AI for good engineers, which is incredibly motivating and also be recognized for your skills, which is very important. So besides the obvious motivation of having a positive impact, it's a great way of improving your chances of getting a job that you really love, you know, and don't take it from me, because if you ask Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, they say that they don't care about the degree that they have. They care about the portfolio of real world problems that you have solved. And by the end of this challenge, all participants are provided um, a certification of their real world experience and impact by us and the other challenge partners. Now, oftentimes, you know, we deal with highly complex data sources like thermal video footage of a wildlife conservation drone. Uh, in this case, it's a little bit more straightforward, but the data is still, you know, it's, it's fresh, but it's still dirty. It needs to be cleaned. It's not like your average Kaggle data set. Um, the sleep research data consists of uh, the pressure mat recordings of 21 nights of five patients. I believe it's something like that. And the pressure sensitive mat is a 18 times 32 matrix of like linear values of the pressure of people lying on it. So um, the AI model that should run um, that we, we are going to create should run on an embedded ESP32 microcontroller. So this means that not extremely large models can be used. And on this, on this hardware, it should also not take more than 10 seconds to run so it can actually do the inference uh, effectively and you know, correct the sleeping position in time. And the model should be provided uh, via a TensorFlow light array of integers. Now, 
before this challenge starts and any challenge that we do start, we make a breakdown of the project with a team of our community tech advisors. So they determine what the sub project should be, it should be tackled and also what you will learn in this challenge. So during this challenge, the following skills are practiced. So it's a, a convolutional neural network architectures like VCC, uh, AlexNet, ResNet, uh, but also uh, classical machine learning methods like RF and XGBoost. And of course you will work with uh, actual edge computing and like optimizing for hardware. And really there's no better way to learn them than by doing it yourself, you know, in a setting where the answers aren't given. Um, you know, struggling is important to learning and uh, we think that this is, you know, that is why it's so relevant for someone that's learning to join one of our challenges. Now, you know, this is not the whole story and not to get overly dramatic, but there is no substitute to real purpose, real impact. And, you know, what we're doing with challenges like this, like you can live your life comfortably. You can tell yourself that there's not much that one person can do, but that's a lie. And maybe it's even the biggest lie, one we've been told to keep us calm and docile and consuming. Real change is not so out of reach as society leads us to believe. It's just a matter of doing. Starting somewhere against all odds, not giving up. Because if you succeed once with a technology as powerful as AI, you have such leverage that millions or even billions of people will benefit. And that's even too human centric. Life, the universe and everything else can benefit. As Churchill said, success is determined by marching from one failure to another without lack of enthusiasm. And so is learning. So now we've done some optimizing on how we run these challenges. So when you join, the chances of having a real world impact, a positive impact when the challenge wraps up is actually near 100%. So sleep apnea is really shitty for the people who suffer from it, but let's have a look at the indirect effects of it. What happens when people are sleep deprived, like the real impact of this challenge. So just to give some examples, 20% of all car accidents for a total of 260,000 car accidents per year and deaths are caused by drowsy drivers. So 21% of hospital deaths for a total of 92,000 a year are due to medical errors of sleep deprived doctors. And you can extrapolate this to any field with heavy machinery, um, important decisions to be made or, you know, uh, life saving skills at work for millions of people dying every year. And remember, half of this, half of people sleep deprived are so due to sleep apnea. And this is the real reason why we have chosen to work on this challenge, because we handpick challenges for how big their impact will be. And if we can bring it actually to implementation and with this challenge, we believe that the impact is going to be real. So check it out, apply and help yourself to help others. The universe will thank you and have a very fruitful day. Thank you very much.